Hello everybody, uh, this is the first in this series of videos and today we're going to be taking a look at a type of problem that you can solve uh, using infinite series. So, um, let's read the problem first. In a water purification process, one nth of the impurity is removed in the first stage and each, in each succeeding stage, the amount of the impurity removed is one nth of that removed in the preceding stage. Show that if n equals 2, the water can be made as pure as you like, but that if n equals 3, at least one half of the impurity will remain no matter how many stages are used. So there's really two problems here, one for n equals 2 and one for n equals 3. Um, I have our formula here that we're going to be using to help solve this problem. So let's get right into it. Um, so, first of all, um, we're going to be keeping track of how much we've removed at each step. And we're going to go with n equals 2 first. So if n equals 2, you're removing one half at the first stage, and then you're removing a half of a half. So a fourth, and then an eighth, and then a sixteenth, and on and on and on with as many stages as you want. So this is a geometric series with, um, well, a geometric series has these properties here. So you have a uh, first term, then you have, then you multiply it by a factor r, then you multi multiply that by a factor r, etc., etc. So in this case, our a is one half, as we can see from the first term. And then, as is pretty clear from the rest of the terms, uh, our r is also one half. So if we use this formula, uh, 1.8 from the book, we get the result that the overall sum of the entire series from here out to infinity is one half over one minus one half. Of course, that's a half over a half, which is 1. So if you take an infinite, um, infinite number of stages to remove the impurity, you will end up, and remember that s is our sum is the amount removed, you will be able to remove all of the impurity, which is what this 1 is. So for the other half of the problem, we're still going to use the same formula, but um, it's going to be a little different. So our amount removed is one third plus one ninth plus one twenty seventh plus one eighty first dot 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 dot. Um, so actually, if you sum it up at each point, you get one third, four ninths, thirteen twenty sevenths, forty eighty firsts. And you can see it's not quite, not quite getting there. You could say. Um, so our a is one third, as we can see from the first term. Then we're multiplying it by an additional third each time. So our r is also one third. As such, we can apply the formula 1.8, and the sum of the entire series from the first term to infinity is one third over one minus one third. So this is one third over two thirds, which is equal to a half. Remember, we are supposed to prove that we can make the water as pure as we like when n equals 2. But when n equals 3, at least one half of the impurity will remain. When we go out to infinity for this second um, series, we can only remove half of the impurity. Thank you for watching.